Yo, 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 and welcome back to my channel, Crypto Ellis. And in this video, we're going to be talking about Litecoin going up, my updated 2018 price prediction for Litecoin, and I'm also going to be reviewing an ICO. As always, don't forget to like and subscribe, or if you're Steam it and DTube, up don't follow. And as always, hit that bell notification so you're always first to view content like this. As you can see right here, the market cap is now at 411 billion for the whole cryptocurrency space. Litecoin is now at $150. We'll talk a bit more about Litecoin in a minute after we review the ICO. So the ICO I want to talk to you about today is called Finom. And I'm not a financial advisor, so please always do your own research. I'll leave the ICO website link down below and also the Telegram link down below. So the ICO is going to end in 21 days, three hours, as you can see right here. The currency is accepted at Euros, USD, Bitcoin and Ethereum. It started on November the 1st and will end on December 30th. Or if they reach the hard cap of $101 million, then it will finish early. They've already raised $37 million, so this looks like it could be finishing early because it's selling out pretty quickly. So what are they going to be doing? They are a blockchain ecosystem with single point of entry and AI assistance. So let's go and see five reasons to invest. So they are an active business and they have over 520,000 users in around 178 countries and in the first 11 months of 2017 they've already earned 3.2 million this is good because they are out there you can see that they are a real company like some ICOs you can't see that kind of stuff so this is good because this is showing to you that you're putting your money into the real deal ownership of the company so the security token that you will be given is actually digital shares Token holders receive rights to dividends from the company's net earnings and also they will receive voting rights. This is great because this will mean a lot of people will want to hold on to their token just so they can get a bit of extra cryptocurrency at the end of the year and so they can help the platform change by voting on the platform. Utility tokens are free, so you're not just getting one token, you're getting two tokens. So the utility token basically is going to be the one that you trade on different exchanges. Also, it's going to give you some discounts and some special privileges. Speaking of exchanges, they've already gone to Bittrex, Binance, Bitfinex, Cryptopia, Yobit, a load of different exchanges. So this is good because this basically shows you as soon as the ICO is over that you are going to be able to trade your cryptocurrency. So there's a good video on their website basically explaining what their ICO is. So if I don't explain it well in this video, go and watch that. As you can see right there, they've already got five different projects. And like I told you, they've already got over 520,000 registered users, 178 countries and 3.2 million earnings in the first 11 months. So they know the financial tools you will need tomorrow. That's why they are creating simple solutions today. So like I said, it's going to be a single point of entry where you'll be able to get into your mining, your training, uh, trading and your banking. And they've also got some big companies on board, as you can see right here. So this mining pool has over 70,000 different people across the whole globe. They mine 12% of Ethereum, 99% of Pascal. 16% uh, of Sia coin, 70% of Ethereum Classic and all that juicy stuff. And they've also got a mining farm. They've got mining software, as you can see right there, microtransactions, cloud mining, and a load of all, all that juicy stuff over there. They've also got some exchanges on board as well, as you can see right there. And peer-to-peer -peer trading. Then, as you can see right here, they're going to have credit slash debit cards. And they're going to have merchants, banks, all of this juicy stuff on board. So what are some of the benefits to using their system? So one of the benefits is any user, regardless of his or her experience, can manage digital currency and assets conveniently and easily. This is great because this basically means anybody could walk off the street if they've got enough money, invest into this platform, and this platform will teach them how to do all that kind of stuff. And basically, they'll go from a novice to a expert, hopefully. Um, all transactions are transparent and comply with AML regulations. So this is good because everything is going to be out there for you to see. And as you can see here also, there are no external controllers to manipulate the system for their own benefits. So no one's going to be able to turn the system around so they can earn all the money. Every payment, every everything, everything on this platform is going to be out there on uh, smart contracts, uh, blockchains and all that kind of stuff. Paying with cryptocurrency, they're going to make paying with cryptocurrency in shop as easy as paying by cash or card. 
So there's going to be 113 million of Fin security tokens and 113 million of their utility token. 50 million pairs of Fin and NOM tokens for sale during the ICO. And it's $2 per token during the ICO. US investors can get in, but you've got to invest over $100,000 to get into this ICO. If you're not from the US, you can invest anywhere between $2 and $99,000. So why invest? So your funds are going to be protected, as you can see right here. They're going to be putting them, to, uh, putting them in an escrow account, which is US licensed. So that's great. Legitimacy, they've already been licensed by the US and they've gone to the US with this ICO and they're all above board. That's why US investors can actually get into this ICO. Ownership of the company, like we've already told you, you can receive dividends and voting rights on this platform. And they are a active business with over four or five years, maybe uh, a few, quite a few years in the, the blockchain industry. So how can you actually get into this ICO? So let's go and have a look at this. We'll open this tab right here and we'll go over to this. So I'm going to guess it's just like a basically like a simple ICO. So yeah, as you can see right there, you visit the website, you click on register. And then once you've registered, you enter your email address, your password, you choose a country from the list box, and then it'll tell you everything else on that um, on the website on, on that um, platform when you're there. And if you've got any questions, we're going to go over it in a minute. We're going to go to the questions and answers section. And then basically, this is the team. I'm not going to look into the team here, but you can go and look into them. And then as you can see there, they've got a secondary liquidity. They've got US listings and the rest of the world, as you can see right there. And then they've got quite a few advisors. You can also get in contact with them on Twitter, Telegram. Like I said, I'll leave the Telegram down below for email and a load of other places. As you can see there, also the Nano Pool, so that's one of their biggest investors and one of their biggest uh, companies in this platform. They've also just launched a new pool for the mining of Electronium. And you all know how much I love Electronium. And Electronium at the moment is one of the most profitable mining companies. So this in itself is great. So let's go over to this. So we've already talked about this. So basically, what is FinCom? So it is a company founded after the merger of five different market leaders to create a blockchain ecosystem with a single point of entry. What was the reason for the merger? So the reason for the merger was to make the world of finance available to anybody. So basically to make anybody be able to get into the world of finance. And then as you can see on here, if you come on here, it'll tell you why they're going into the blockchain, how long the company is going to be on um, the market for, how long they've been on the market for and all this kind of stuff what their legal situation is and all that juicy stuff. So I just want to take you I just want to take your attention to um, a few things down here which you may be concerned about. Um, I'm actually going to do another video about this ICO in the future or if I don't do another video I'll actually mention this in another video. So this one right here. How soon can you get your tokens? So the tokens will be the Deposited as you can see then to users accounts 30 days after the ICO finishes. Yeah, okay. That's 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 normal That's normal, but this is the one that concerned me a bit the fin tokens will be subject to a one-year holding period a One-year holding period and by the looks of that that doesn't mean a one-year holding period for the team That looks like the users that are investing into this ICO. have got to hold their tokens for one year So I'm trying to get that cleared up by the team as we speak so I'll bring that to you in another video because that one concerned me a bit why would they want us to hold our tokens for one year um, I, I wouldn't personally want to hold my tokens for one year just just in case um, it gets dumped straight away when it hits the exchanges I, I personally myself I'd like to sell it as soon as it hits the exchanges knowing that it's gonna get dumped and then buy in lower that's my personal opinion hey guys so I just got that confirmed that it's actually only US citizens that can't sell their tokens for one year just because of the regulations that they've got with the American government and all that about this ICO. So if you're not from the US, you can sell your tokens freely after the ICO finishes. And then as you can see right here, which exchanges will it go on? I told you that before, they're already going on to Bit, uh, Bitfinex, Bittrex, they're trying to get onto these other exchanges. So 
basically that's my ICO review on this ICO so it, it looks like it could be a good ICO but like I said there are a few concerns at the moment with the you've got to hold the tokens for a certain amount of time also I didn't show you just then but any tokens that don't get sold they actually go to the team and they stay on the platform so again that one worried me a bit because it, they could just dump it straight away but it's not worrying me like to the sense that I wouldn't invest into this ICO so my ICO rating for the ICO is I, I, I'd give it a strong I'd give it a strong 3.5 a 3.5 out of 5 um, only reason I wouldn't give it like a 4 or a 5 out of 5 is like I said um, the team they're holding the tokens so I don't know what that means at the moment so I'm getting that cleared up at the moment also and you've got to hold your tokens for one year so I'm also getting that cleared up so like I said it's going to end in 21 days they've already raised 37 million so they could actually sell out of their hard cap it's looking like something that um the blockchain and the cryptocurrency space could need a one-stop place for you to basically do everything. Basically do everything. So now let's go over to Litecoin. Everybody, everybody's probably just at this video for Litecoin. Hopefully not, because like I said, the ICO is a good ICO, but let's refresh the page. Litecoin is now at $150. Dollars, $150. So if you got all the way to this part of the video, the Litecoin part of the video, thank you very much. Don't forget to smash that like button. So as you can see right now, it's at $150. So why am I doing a another price prediction when I only did one maybe a month ago? The reason I'm doing another price prediction is the one that I made a month ago, that was Litecoin's going to get to $300 in the year 2018. And look at that, it's at $150 now. So that's definitely, that's definitely going to happen. So there are a couple of reasons that this that this has gone up so as you can see right here this company right here bit refill you can now refill your phone balance send top ups to friends and family and buy gift cards with litecoin and then if we go up here you can buy steam vouchers using bitcoin and also using litecoin as you can see right here so um Steam, they got, they just recently got rid of Bitcoin because it's too slow, transaction fees are too high, all that, all that nonsense. Okay, okay. But now Litecoin, you can actually use, you can actually use this platform, uh, BitRefill, to buy Steam vouchers with Litecoin and Bitcoin. But Litecoin, Litecoin, the most important one, Litecoin. And also this guy right here, the Litecoin founder, Charlie Lee, he is doing amazing stuff on. He's doing amazing stuff on Twitter. Look at all this. Look at all this. He's doing amazing stuff on Twitter, hyping Litecoin up, making sure Litecoin is, um, yeah, making sure the Litecoin community knows exactly what's going on with Litecoin. He is the main reason, the main reason that I believe Litecoin is going to succeed and go through the roof in 2018 and beyond. So let's talk about 2018. So if you watched my previous video, you already know a few of the reasons why I believe it's going to go up and sh and and really shoot up in 2018. I told you in my previous video about Litecoin that I see 2018 being the year Litecoin is going to break out like Ethereum did and like Dash did. As you can see, it's already starting to happen. So 2018, they're going to be getting the Lightning Network going. They're going to be getting the um, the atomic swap or whatever it's called they're going to be getting that going where basically you'll be able to swap from bitcoin to litecoin litecoin to bitcoin without using a exchange so you're basically cutting out the middleman uh lightning network that's basically going to make it instant transactions and the fees are going to be super super low or no fees whatsoever so that's going to help litecoin and a lot of other cryptocurrencies are trying to adopt the lightning network so like bitcoin so that's going to bring more attention to litecoin and as you can just as you saw just then um you're also going to be able to buy steam vouchers now with litecoin so it's going to be quick and easy for you to buy steam vouchers with litecoin and this is going to bring the gaming community over to litecoin and Every, like the gaming community are also going to see the possibilities of Litecoin. I was telling you Litecoin was undervalued, and I still think Litecoin at this price right now is undervalued. People are asking me, Jack, is it too late to invest in Litecoin? Personally, my personal opinion, no, it's not too late to invest in Litecoin. This is still very cheap compared to where Litecoin is going. Remember, just remember back now to when Ethereum was at $150. You were thinking to yourself, oh, this is overpriced, this is overpriced, this is overpriced. Uh, is it too late? Is it too late? Is it too late? Let's go and have a look at Ethereum. Let's go and have a look at Ethereum. Ethereum is now $470. 
$470 and when Ethereum was at around $150 that's when we really saw Ethereum take off and take off really good and then everyone at that point at the $150 mark for Ethereum was like oh it's overvalued oh it's overvalued so a lot of people did not get in and then bang 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 blast off to around $400 $300 or whatever it was so Litecoin, to my, in my opinion, is undervalued because, like I said, they've got Lightning Network, Atomic Swap, or however you say that. Um, you can now buy Steam vouchers with the Litecoin, and they've got a lot of other stuff going on in 2018. Also, Charlie Lee. Charlie Lee is going to be the driving force behind Litecoin going to the moon. I don't like to say to the moon too often, but he is going to be the driving force of the Litecoin price going up, which is great because he's one of those... He's one of those founders that's always out there, really active on Twitter. He's funny. Uh, it's all great because he's keeping everybody updated with Litecoin. So, you're thinking now, Jack, stop mumbling on. I watched your last video on Litecoin. I don't need to know the reasons why Litecoin's going to go up. Just tell me your new price prediction. Okay, here we go. So, bang! My new price prediction for Litecoin in 2018. My previous pri price prediction was... Uh, my previous price prediction was $300, but my new price prediction is $750. $750. So I've times their um, circulating supply, so just say it's $55 million, times $750, that would give it a market cap of $41.2 billion. $41.2 billion. So let's just go back quickly now and look at the market cap now as we speak. So there's... A couple of other reasons that I believe Litecoin is undervalued. Look at this. Bitcoin Cash. Look at Bitcoin Cash's market cap. It's 23 billion. Look at Litecoin's market cap in comparison. 8 billion. 8 billion. 8 billion, 23 billion. And 8 billion, 23 billion. <laughs> you know, you see, you see what I mean? I believe Litecoin's a lot better than Bitcoin Cash. And also again, Litecoin to Ethereum, the market cap. So Litecoin's got a lot of catching up to do with Ethereum, Bitcoin Cash, Bitcoin IOTA. Um, it's got a lot of catching up to do with these market caps. So that in itself, showing how low the market cap for uh, Litecoin is, is showing that it's still got a lot of room to move and the $750 is going to be easily, easily achieved. Okay, it's going down right now by like what? <laughs> 10 cents, 20 cents, okay. But also maximum supply is very low, circulating supply is very low. So... 2018 is going to be a big year for Litecoin. $750 is, it's still going to be low for Litecoin. It's still going to be low. Uh, two to four years, I could see Litecoin easily $1,000, $2,000. At the rate that we're going in the cryptocurrency market, at the rate the market cap is going up towards that trillion dollar market cap, easy. Litecoin is so undervalued. Bitcoin's undervalued, Litecoin's undervalued. There's so many cryptocurrencies at the moment that are undervalued and a lot of people don't see their full potential. Litecoin is one of those. Um, when Litecoin started rising, people were like, oh, wow, I now see the full potential of Litecoin. And a lot of people started putting their money into Litecoin. So that was my video on the ICO review of this ICO right here called Finom. I'm hoping I'm pronouncing that right. I'll leave the ICO website link and the Telegram link down below. And also... That was my updated 2018 price prediction on Litecoin. As always, don't forget to like and subscribe with over in Steam and DTube at Bone Follow. If you've made it to the end of the video, thank you very much. Thank you very much. I know it was a long video. And yeah, hope you have a great day. Do you believe Litecoin is going to be getting to $750 in the year 2018? I fully believe in it. I fully believe in the Litecoin project. Thank you very much for watching. And as always, have a great day.